Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the second annual Fine Arts Awards Night. We are here to celebrate you, your accomplishments, your dedication, and honor towards your craft. Whether it is music, art, theater, you have an opportunity to create, express, and be a part of something bigger than yourself. You should take great pride in your accomplishments to take what you have learned and apply it to whatever you choose to strive for. Being creative and thinking outside the box helps in all areas of your life. The arts are essential. They teach us many lessons. The arts are deeply connected to almost every other aspect of our lives and to other subjects that we study in school. Schools that integrate arts into their curriculum show improved student performance in math, English, critical thinking, and verbal skills. I feel we are blessed to have such programs for you to learn and achieve from, and I feel blessed to be a part of it too. So on to our awards. Our first award is awarded on behalf of Kanye Thompson from Presser Performing Arts Center. She is not with us this evening. So this is the Stribling Dramateer Award given in honor of Charles Stribling III, English faculty member, past president of MMA, and Board of Trustees Chairperson. The nomination for the 2023 Stribling Dramateer Award has been selected for his constant great attitude, willingness to work, never showing signs of idleness. The outstanding Stribling Dramateer Award goes to Cadet Connor Moore. Our next award is presented by our choir director, Christina Stout. Good evening. The Philip Russell Outstanding Contribution to Chorus Award is given to, in honor of alumni Philip Russell, class of 68. This year's recipient is Cadet Justin Daigle. The Missouri State High School Activities Association sponsors music festivals each year. Similar to sports, vocal and instrumental soloists and small ensembles from throughout the state participate, first at the district level. If an exemplary rating is earned at the district level, those individuals then move on to the state level to compete. The criteria for entry is very difficult. Musicians must select repertoire from a, a prescribed music list, choosing two classical pieces, um, in a contrasting style. The soloists began preparing their solos last fall. A lot of them were in foreign languages, um, and they worked very hard to learn these songs. Um, and with their hard work and dedication paid off. Uh, we had three cadets who made it to the state uh, level, and all three of those cadets earned high rankings at the state level. So if those three individuals would please come up when I call your name to receive your award. Jace Jacob Stallone received the outstanding silver rating. Justin Daigle received an exemplary gold rating.
and Lucas Sidleski received an exemplary gold rating. I do have an additional acknowledgement. Unfortunately, the, the individual's not here, but I'm gonna go ahead and say it anyway. Um, I would like to acknowledge another person without whom the success of the vocal department this year would not have been um, achievable. Um, when I asked him to learn 18 extra songs for festival, he didn't question it. He practiced tires, tirelessly most every night uh, preparing the repertoire, and he selflessly offered his evenings and his weekends to rehearse with the cadets, ensuring that the collaborations would be perfect. All of this while fulfilling his regular duties in math and the music departments, as well as extra math tutoring in the evenings and warming countless bowls of ramen and popping hundreds of bags of popcorn for you guys. His devotion and dedication to the enrichment of the MMA cadets has not gone unnoticed by me, but I wanted to acknowledge him publicly. Um, he's the best co-teacher I could have asked for, and that is Stephen Maziars. He's not here. <laughs> our next awards are presented by our band director, James Garrett. Okay. The John Crane Joshier Jazz Musician Award is given in honor of two Jeffs. Jeffrey Crane, 1976, band commander, and Jeffrey Joshier, 1976, alumnus. This award is for the most outstanding jazz musician here that we have currently at MMA. Will Cadet Cruz Hagen, please come down. The Strip Brothers Band Awards are given in recognition of achievement, participation in music performance, punctuality, qualities of a good band member. The award is given in honor of the Strip Brothers in 1929, Foster Strip in 1930, Brian Strip, Dale E. Strip in 1941. Strip Brothers Award for 12th grade goes to no other than Pete Didiker. Brother Award for 11th grade goes to no other than London Meyer. Brother Award for 10th grade goes to no other than Miles Matthews. The John Philip Sousa Award for Outstanding Contributions to Band is a national award. 
This award has been given to the outstanding contributions to the band member. The John Philip Sousa Award goes to no one, no other than John Carlos Ahua. The Colonel Paul F. Church's Memorial Award is given to the most valuable member of the band. It is dedicated to the cadet who has a strong gift of music, very strong gift of music. Colonel Church's was the MMA band director from 1950 to 1989. The Colonel Paul F. Church's Memorial Award goes to Alexi Kesta. The Lieutenant Elmer R. Jackson Music Award goes to the cadet that has shown distinguished service to the music program. Elmer R. Jackson was the band director from 1931 to 1950 and relocated to the admissions department until 1978. This award goes to no other than Sean Mum. The most distinguished service award goes to the cadet who has shown most improvement, personal dedication to the Missouri Military Academy Music Department and band program. This award goes to no other than Hayden James. Thank you. The next award is the Jack Myers Cup. The Jack Myers Cup is for a creative cadet in fine arts given in honor of John F. Jack Myers, alumnus from 1939, who is also a music producer for ABC. The Jack Myers Cup represents the cadet whose talent is in many different areas. For example, like the combination of art, choir, band, drama, this year's award goes to Cadet Kellen McGeesha. When I planned this event, I didn't realize the sun would be setting, so I may have to switch gears here, but I'm getting very glowy over here. Our next awards are presented by our pipe major, Stuart McKenzie. <laughs> Through teaching of the bagpipe program, cadets have had to learn a lot from the practical side of bagpiping and also the theory and the reading of music. Now, this is a lot of information for them to comprehend and learn. So this year, we've introduced a, a separate certificate, different levels that correspond to what the cadets, are, uh, piping and drumming cadets in the UK do. So dedication from the cadets in the bagpipe program has been second to none. And then the following cadets, their certificates in bagpiping for attaining the required MMA standard in practical and theory exams. Level one certificate, Cadet Damien Garretson. <laughs> A 
Level 2 certificate, Cadets Mason Brooks, Colton Fred, Robert Peck, Camille Sanchez and Adam Swenson. The Pipe Majors Award, which is a, a plaque, is given to the cadet at each level who has shown the most commitment, dedication and loyalty to the bagpipe programme. So the Pipe Majors Award for Best Beginner goes to Cadet Damien Garrison. And the best at immediate goes to Cadet Mason Brooks. <laughs> and just as a footnote on that, uh, Mason has been registered with the Scottish Qualifications Authority to go through an exam with the Pipe and the Drum and Qualifications Board in Glasgow. Now this is a national exam and a national certificate which is recognised worldwide that he will get for that. Uh, and hopefully he'll set his test before we break up in May and we'll get that done and then get your certificate once we get back in August. Okay? Good luck with that. Our next awards are presented by our art instructor Cheryl Morris. It was really bright over there, so I had to switch sides. Okay, the Larry Anthony Art Award. Helping a person will not necessarily change the world, but it will change the world for that one person. This award goes to Cadet Zachary Har. The Middle School Art Achievement Award is given to the middle school cadet who has achieved their best in art. The Middle School Art Achievement Award goes to Cadet Henry Scribner. The High School Art Achievement Award is given to the high school cadet who has achieved their best in art. The High School Achievement Award goes to Cadet Bryson Powell.
The next award, the Creative Art Award, is given to the cadet who has shown the most creativity in art class. And it has been a joy watching his brain explode during the year as far as all these act ideas and stuff. So the Creative Art Award goes to Cadet Brett Miles. The Senior Portfolio Award is awarded to an individual who has built over time a portfolio that would be respectable to show as a strong example of their talents. This award goes to Cadet Roy Kiyoko. Last but not least, the Alumni Association Award for Most Outstanding in Art is given in honor of Aver Campazano from the class of 1982. It is given to the cadet who has shown outstanding capabilities in all art mediums. Campazano designed the bronze hand sculpture, the natatorium bronze plaque, and the bronze stribling sculpture. This year, the Alumni Association Award is given to cadet Tumalan Manlai. Yeah. Okay, now for closing remarks from the president. Well, I'm glad to see everyone excited about fine arts because this program, our arts program, is just as important as any other program at the academy. And you need to hear that from me because I attribute a lot of my success to my participation in the arts when I was in high school. I've mentioned to some of you that I had the distinct pleasure after being told by my wrestling coach that I would be in the performance and learn how to dance in Hello Dolly. And when we did that musical at the high school, I learned so much about teamwork, practice, working together, how difficult the arts truly are and how important practice is. Also, when I was taking art classes, I really got involved in architectural art. And I learned so much from my art teacher about being patient, about thinking through things, about being creative, really helped in my critical thinking skills. And last but not least, learning how to play a musical instrument. I learned how to play a guitar. I played in a couple of really uh, small time bands, mainly with the church, in playing guitar mass in our, our Catholic church. But again, practice working together with the other band members, understanding and appreciating how important music is in the world. Every day, you're probably humming one tune or another. Okay, music is important. Everything we do at the Academy is tied back to the arts. 
And that's why it's so important that we have one of the best art programs in the country. And then on top of that, we have state qualifiers with our choir. And you know, I've, I, I love, I can't sing, but I love to listen to people sing. And that's truly a gift to be able to stand up in front of individuals and sing. And I'll tell you, I was never as proud as I was to watch the choir when we performed or when you performed uh, at the, uh, during Spring Family Weekend at Presser. Because the reason I was so proud was because I really saw some choir members really step up and really let your voice be heard. That is so important for you to have the confidence. Whether you're drawing art, or you're playing a musical instrument, or you're singing your voice, you need to be heard. And you have to have and should have the confidence to be heard. And so we talk about all of our athletic teams, our drill teams, our rifle team, all the teams we have here, but there's also a fine arts team that is just as important. And what you're doing is just as important as what all of the other cadets are doing in their activities. What's really amazing, and what I tell people all the time, is many of you are participating in all those other teams too. Because at the academy, no cadet stands on the sideline. And so for you to be involved in the band or the choir and also in sports or the drill team or for you to be putting together art projects or participating in the drama club, which by the way was a great production. I tell you, that's two years in a row. And when, when I first got here as the academic dean, we were not putting on productions. And so again, to, to come together, learn your lines, and act out so that the people in the audience are actually just involved with what you're doing. They're, they're embracing the entire play, and, and those cadets in that play are taking the whole audience to a whole different time. They are, you're, you caused everybody to forget what was going on in their lives for that day and for that period of time, you had their full attention with that play. And, and again, I see cadets involved in so many different things and I tell people a busy cadet is a happy cadet, okay? And any cadet who tells their parents that they're bored, I wanna meet that cadet. Because if you're bored here at the academy, it's because you're not taking advantage of all that we have to offer. But why, how are you able to do all this? Well, I'll tell you how you're able to do all this, okay? Whether it's the pipe major, the band director, the head of our choir, and our art department chair, and our art teacher, they care about you and are trying to help you be your best version of yourself and to bring out your talents. And I think they deserve another round of applause. <laughs> now, I have high expectations for all of you and for the Academy in general. So we'll continue to compete at the national level with the band, the choir, the pipers, any kind of competition that we can get involved, whether it's state, regional, we're gonna provide the opportunity and the funds. You just need to do the work. And I'll, I will put you front and center and I will give you the opportunity to showcase your talents. All it takes is a little hard work, 
listening to your teachers and working with each other. Because sometimes some of your best ideas that you come up with are based on talking to your brothers, socializing ideas, just talking about different things and getting together. I remember that as a cadet. It was really important. The last thing I want to share with you is that based on what you accomplished this year, I hope every one of you who are eligible to return, return next year. Don't get lazy man's disease over the summer. Okay, I don't want to get up at six in the morning. I don't want to do, I hear that all the time. I, I, yeah, and he's the only guy in the wrong uniform too. <laughs> but, but you know what? I remember when he first got here and now seeing him take charge with the Pipers, that's what it's all about. You don't know how good you are. One of the reasons that I enjoy this job so much is because I get to see the staff and the faculty find hidden talent. If you remember when you first got here, I promised you that we we're gonna find, help you find your passion, help you find your God-given talent, help you find out who you are and what goals you wanna set for yourself. And based on what I've seen this year, just out of the fine arts department, you're doing pretty well. So I hope to see those of you who are eligible return, and we only have 33 seniors graduating this year, so that's a, that's a lot of cadets coming back next year. That's 162 cadets eligible to come back next year. And I expect that Swenson will be the first one here and Peck will be right behind him. The last thing I want to say is, let's make smart decisions. 20 or so days left, let's make smart decisions. Let's focus on doing well on your exams. Let's end on a high note. You deserve it. You've worked hard all year, and if your buddy's starting to wobble a little, a little bit, you ought to set him straight, okay? So again, congratulations to all of, of the award winners, but congratulations to all of you for participating in the fine arts. You will be a better man for it. Thank you. This concludes our fine arts awards section of the evening. S1.